Welcome back to another episode of Dominique Pernay's course on celestial navigation. My name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician, amateur astronomer, and I'll be presenting Dominique's course to you. Uh, today's episode is we're going to talk about how do you take a site with the moon. <clears throat> we've already done the sun, we've done the planets, and now we're going to move on to the moon. So <clears throat> the moon uh, information, you can find more about it within Dominique's book on celestial navigation. And we'll be also using the celestial navigation exercise book. You can find out more about where to get that at marinenavigationbooks.com. Uh, we're going to be going uh, through the very simple exercise, but uh, definitely get Dominique's book to get into more of the detail. I highly recommend it. Uh, the Celestial Navigation Exercise book, besides purchasing it, you can also download a PDF copy of it at marinenavigationbooks.com, where you can also find uh, worksheets to download, um, and you can even find this slide deck that we're using for the course uh, for your use. Let me turn on my pointer, make it a little easier here. All right, good. So <clears throat> the calculation for the moons are similar to those for the sun and for the planets, actually. Uh, in fact, we're going to be using quite a number of the same concepts as we use for the planets. Uh, and there's really only one extra thing you're going to need to learn uh, to do the moon. And that is a specific table for calculating your uh, observed altitude. And GHA and declination are just slightly different because you have to uh, get the uh, interpolation values slightly differently than you would for the planets or the sun. And we'll go over that very quickly. So here's that extra table for calculating the uh, observed altitude. It's called the altitude correction table for the moon. You'll find it at the back of the nautical almanac. Um, and obviously it'll be in the exercise manual and in the, uh, and in the uh, main book um, as well. And we'll show you how to use this in a second. And there's two of them because it depends on what your um, HA is, uh, whether you're going from 0 to 35 or 35 to 90. But again, these are just tables in the nautical almanac. So <clears throat> let's actually go through one of these so you can see how easy it is to do. Uh, let's make believe we're doing a moon site on June 30th at 65428 UTC. And HA after index correction and dip, let's assume it's 21 degrees, 28 minutes. And you took a site on the upper limb of the moon. So it's just like the sun, you could do upper or lower limb since the moon is so large. And so from this information, what's our HO? How do we do it? So we first we look at our nautical almanac for the 30th of June and at the 0600 hour. We only need to know the hours for this piece. And you look across and you get this funny number here called HP. That's called horizontal parallax. If you remember <clears throat> back when we were doing the planets, we had a uh, extra correction for the, for the uh, planets of Venus and Mars. And that we just called parallax. And it's really basically the same thing. Uh, as this number, but this number is usually much, much larger than the correction for the planets. The planets are usually just a couple of tenths of a minute uh, correction, but here we can have a fairly large correction. So I gave it a special name, horizontal parallax. And if you look in Dominique's uh, uh, textbook, he gets into much more detail as to actually where this comes from, why it's called horizontal parallax, etc. But for our purposes, just know that this is the number you need to calculate your HO. So we pull that out, HP is 55.5 minutes, okay? So now that we know the HP, we can actually use the altitude correction table for the moon, and this is how you take it out. So what you do is you start here, you look for the range of HA that you're in, so we're in 20 to 24 degrees, and we are <clears throat> at 21 degrees, so we go down here. And then we also look at the minutes, and we look for the closest minute, 28 is very close to 30. So we're gonna do uh, 21 degrees, and we're gonna do a 61.9 uh, minute correction. That's always a plus. 
you if there's a, a large uh, difference between the the uh, minutes, as you can see, they go by tens. Uh, <clears throat> you can do an interpolation if you want, but here it's pretty obvious it's going to stay at 61.9 uh, for 28 minutes. So we, we're starting our little calculation here. We have uh, 21 degrees, 28 minutes is our HA. We're adding the uh, main correction, 61.9. And now here's where the HP comes in. So you look here for the HP that we read, which was 55.5. Here we go. And then you go in the exact same column you were in, okay, whichever column the uh, range fell. And then you have a lower and upper limb correction. So we took an upper limb, so that's 2.2. So again, that's a plus. Now there is one special thing you have to do is that if you happen to be doing an upper limb correction, you have to subtract 30 minutes from whatever this calculate comes out to. And when you do that calculation, you get 22 degrees, 2.1 minutes. And this is how it kind of would look in, a, uh, in, your, in your calculation form um, with all the numbers filled in. Okay, very pretty straightforward. And this is really the only new thing about the moon is to use this HP table uh, to calculate HO. Everything else is going to be very similar to the sun and planets. So let's get into that. First, of course, you'll have an exercise you can do, and the answer will be in the exercise manual. GHA. Okay. <clears throat> to calculate the GHA, it's going to be very similar to the planets. If you remember, the planets are move a little differently than the sun, and you had to have a V correction, if you remember. That's at the bottom of the uh, table for the, for the days that you're um, doing your site on. And typically, you know, it's there a couple of minutes, um, usually a plus. Venus sometimes can be minus. But for the moon, it's always going to be a plus. All right. So you're going to get that V. You're going to apply it to a, a, uh, the increments and corrections table using the moon column, which uses a slightly different uh, rate of rotation. And you'll use your interpolation table, just like you did for the planets with that V, to adjust the GHA. So let's go take a look. So let's take an example. Again, we're on June 30th. Uh, it's 654.28 UTC. What's the GHA of the moon? So again, we're in our nautical almanac, 30th of June, 0600 hours, and we get our GHA, right, 262 degrees, 48.5 minutes. And here's the difference between the moon and the planets. With the moon, you're going to get a VH, a V uh, for every hour. So it's not going to be the same for the entire, you know, three days that you would normally use for a planet. You're actually going to get a V for every hour. So that's pretty simple, 8.6. We pull that out. Okay, and then we go into our increments table for the uh, 54 minutes, and we use our moon, say moon, going to go in the moon column for 28 minutes, and we get 12 degrees, 59.8 minutes, and we'd have to use our V, which we looked up was 8.6, and that comes to 7.8 minutes, and we add those all together, and we get 275 degrees, 56.1 minutes. Again, very similar to our planet calculation with the Vs. And then we have, of course, we have an exercise. <clears throat> and the answer will be in your exercise manual. Declination is going to be, again, very similar to the sun and the planets. Uh, the difference, again, is going to be that the moon's declination changes uh, a lot more than uh, you would for the planets or the sun. So you're going to get a D for every hour, just like we had a V for every hour. Okay, But just like with the sun and the planets, you do have to decide whether it's a plus or a minus D. So you have to look at the, the declinations and see if they're going up or down. And it definitely looks like they're going down. So <clears throat> for our 0600 hours, the D is going to be minus 1.3. Again, we just go into our table, 54 minutes. We get... Um, our, uh, oh, and I'm, I'm we obviously recorded the declination of when we started. Let's go back one, which was north 26, 21.8. And then we're going to subtract with our V of one point, negative 1.3. We have to subtract 1.2. Again, very simple calculation. 
very similar to the planets. And again, we have an exercise, which you can do, and you will find the answers in your exercise manual. And finally, we have uh, basically putting it all together in one uh, large exercise, starting with calculating your HO, calculating your GHA, and calculating your declination. In the next episode, we are wrapping up uh, this series with a uh, couple of episodes about star sites. So we did sun, we did planets, we just did the moon, and really all you have left are stars. And uh, that's probably the most exciting thing for me as an astronomer, amateur astronomer, uh, to learn how to do this. So I hope you'll join us for beginning our series on star sites. Thank you very much, and we'll see you soon.